Welcome back. I'm MJ Haggis. This is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. Continuing on, we're going to try with restoring the Water Tower 3, but that's going to take a little bit of work prior because we need to get consumables. Consumables, if you've seen a previous episode, is not that easy. You need a few things to create these consumables, and that's what we're going to try and do today. So I've jumped back into the dairy with a six slot trailer purely because we've got to pick up long planks. Long planks are going to take up four slots and it gives us a reason to get this guy back in use. On the map, I've set some waypoints. We're running low on fuel, very low. We're down to 7%. So I'm going to try to make it down to the fuel trailer that we've brought down to this flat farmland area. That's the mission kind of thing. I don't know if we'll make it, so we might have to bring the, the step with the fuel to us. We'll soon find out. But then, once we have got fuel, we're going to carry on to the sawmill, pick up the planks, and head through into Albany River to drop off the planks. Then we move on to, I think it's metal beams and uh, one lot of metal rolls. That will complete the consumables. So, anyway, that's that. Let's see how we get on. Beautiful day again. Let's wake him up. And break off and let's make some tracks. Been a little bit of time since we've been back in this guy, so this should pose no problem. He says with complete conviction, uh, but no confidence. 69 litres, 68. Oh, it's going to disappear fast. It's downhill, so that'll help us. We may make it. If I thought I could knock into neutral and freewheel it for a bit, then I would. Oh, no, we're going uphill. Thought we're going to turn right there. It starts to disappear a little bit quicker. 12, 13, 14 litres a minute. Yeah, these consumables. They don't have to take a lot of resources to make. And I'm hoping this will be the last lot of consumables we need to make. I have no idea. I haven't checked all the contracts and tasks, but... If I thought it was the last one, I'll be happy. 56, 55, oh, we are well in the red. Downhill now. I don't think there's any shortcuts down into the valley. Short of throwing it off a cliff. I mean, it's not far. We can see the end. The valley's just there in the distance. Yeah, we'll be fine. I have confidence now. That's just near the bottom. I've left the GMC up the top of the hill. That'll be a separate journey back down. I didn't want to drag it and add to the fuel issue. Come on, keep on. Don't slow it down now. Come on. Last thing we need is pesky mud. Um, causing the fuel issue. I'm actually sh not sure. I've used pretty much all the fuel off the top of the loaf, but I wonder if we could take it straight out of the loaf's actual fuel tank. Break 35, come on, there's the fuel trailer over there. Get up 
to about 16, 17 metres a minute. Come on, don't stop. Come on, what's wrong with you? See, I've got the handbrake on. Come on. It feels like he's running out of fuel already. <laughs> we are so close. Oh man, come on, keep going. We're not out of fuel yet. 21 litres, and it is, it does feel like it's conking out. Eighteen, seventeen. now we're going to make it. That, that was surprising how much it struggled that last little bit. There we go. Right, engine off. Let's have some of this fuel. Take the whole lot, and we'll fill up the loaf. Might as well top up the pike while it's sitting there. Got fuel in the trailer. Yeah, did forget about that. But and the spare wheel. Let's just take the lot. Right, that's us. Good. Let's move on to the sawmill. So up here, turn left, then a right, past the sawmill, up to the road, and out. Okay, let's go. That's better. thinking if we can get the planks is four slots. If we're on the way to the crafting zone I think there should be a warehouse nearby that's got the metal beams so we can maybe pick that up as well en route. And maybe if it's got the metal rolls, which it probably should do, we might be able to just double stack it for the short journey and do it all in one run. Get this wide. stuff. And we need, the reason I'm kind of focusing on this restoring water tower number three is because it's required to open up some more of the contracts later on. So that's basically the, the story for that. It would need doing anyway, so it's not like it's a water boom. just how much fuel this thing has actually gone through in the time that we've been out and about it. 990 litres almost. Watch the sign. And down to the sawmill. Oh. Mustang's feeling a bit neglected, but I think I might have a wee job for that later on. What am I going to reverse out of here? Okay, some of your finest long planks, please. Okay, cool. I'm trying to go down the side of that shed, but going to a tight exit. All good.
Okay, which way is the best way? Shall we take the straight road through? Ooh. Yeah, that's quite a banking there. I've been driven the vanilla trucks just lately, you kind of forget how awesome the mod trucks can be. I'm not saying the vanilla one of the dairy special isn't awesome, it just doesn't have the same capabilities like the rear steering, which is such a bonus. Okay, off to Albany River we go. Full steam ahead, kinda. I was just looking at the ends of the wood, how much I detail is in that how there's not all like just the same generic I so appreciate that trailer again oh left abandoned okay we can skip that we've seen it a few times now Ooh. So from here, I think we'll be heading towards that up arrow, because that's where the warehouse is for the metal beams. Probably indicating to me that there's small pipes there, but I think there's only one of them. And we may end up grabbing that in the future. Nice easy drive all the way to the warehouse, which we can see in the background. Oh, I moved the Tega, the Tega that helped rescue me before, which was down that road up the top of the hill there. I just moved them closer and onto the road again. Then when I get him back to the garage, just in case he was required again. What other logistical juggling have I done? I can't quite remember. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's cut through trees. If I'm going to double stack, I need to get the crane close to that loading area. Still pressing the space bar for the handbrake. Nope. Right, cargo management. Metal beams, yes. That's nice. And one metal roll left. Perfect. Let's put it to the platform. A pro. Not that one. I want that one. A crane. Don't think we'll need the anchors. Not for this guy. Up we go. Try and get him in between the two spars so he doesn't try and run away. Oh, so close. Played over. There he goes. And get him back just a fraction. That'll do. Perfect. 
store the crane. Better say here. Let's reverse up the road, that might be a good call. has not moved. I'm glad I didn't do things like the water booms in this region because it would have used up so many uh, resources and things like the metal beams and metal rolls might not have even been available to me for this. So if anything, and if I am going to do them, they'll be done last. with whatever it is lying about. Under the bridge. I still think this is one of the most beautiful regions. It's just so nice just driving about. Now I do have the Freightliner 114 SD here. And I think he's in the zone so I knew what I was picking up. I need to get him out of there. Get up there, quick switch. We'll connect him back up to this trailer because I think he'll be getting used as well. There we go, up engine, change truck back. Try and get straight with that other exit. Right, stop the engine though. Let's save what fuel we do have. Drop off the metal beams, planks, pack those. We'll get rid of them. Lovely. And we want some consumables. Crazy amount to put in for such a little output. Um, consumables one. We've got to go all the way through with three small pipes. Okay, need to think about what truck is going to take them through because I don't want to use this guy if it's way overkill. I need the three pipes, so let's just not take them out just yet. Let's think about it. Three small pipes. There's one there. Ah, yes, I thought so. Unlimited supplies at this one. So, at six slots, because each of the small pipes is still two slots. And we're going to the water tower that's closer to this gateway, if I recall. Let's jump through. Yes, right here, which is really close to that one. So, for that... Six slots. I mean, technically, it doesn't really... It's, it's not quite halfway. So coming through this gateway from the unlimited supply would not be a disaster. It's a fairly... It looks like a fairly straight through road on the basis that the access to this... Well, it looks like the access is on that side. Maybe you can get up through the trees. I don't know. Either way, you can just go around, I suppose, and then up. Not a problem. So, now we've got the consumables, the three small pipes. And they've got two there as well. Okay. And what is in this warehouse? 
two small pipes there. Okay, we're not going to be short pipes. It's just how do we get them there? First things first is going to be the consumables. Okay. Oh, I just jumped straight back into the same map. I want to be in this map. So if I pick up this one small pipes here with the dairy and this consumables, that's three slots. It's a bit overkill. So maybe I'll just use the I'll use the freight liner and I'll jump everything into that. Because I want to use the vanilla trucks as much as possible. Okay, let's jump in and do that to begin with. So you need to get out of here. Okay, which road are we going to send them out? Doesn't really matter. Make around the fence, yeah. We'll just park this guy here. Ready for his next job. And break on engine off. Can I click on the fruit liner. Yes, I can. Cool. Right, okay. You will take them. I'll put them into... I don't think it really matters to be honest. We'll leave them in the truck. And we'll get... Technically, I should have put them into the trailer because then I could have put a pipes there and a pipes into this one. So let's try that. Let's drop them off. Pick them back up again. I'll put them in the trailer. Yeah, that makes more sense. Right. First lot of pipes, let's go out this other route for a change. This will be a nice wee task for this guy, nice to keep him in use. I mean, even contemplating not picking them up for them in that nearby warehouse. Because there's two. Oh, the cogs are turning. What's the best option? What is the best? Oh, sorry about your table. We only need three of them. Oh, big go. Right, all the drivers off. Full speed ahead. Do we pick them up from there? Where else are we going to need small pipes in the future? So I'm just trying to plan ahead that I don't use a cargo that we're going to need. Yeah, we'll leave the small pipes there just in case. Which probably means I'll never need them again from, from this region here. So we can go up to the furthest warehouse, pick up the two from there and drop them all off which would just leave one small pipes and I could use a single truck through in the burn forest to pick them up from another warehouse once we're through we'll just double check everything Again, it's nice having a trailer that's three slots that's pretty capable. And again, a bonus having the dolly lock. For those odd times you have to reverse. 
Hey, back in the burn forest. Okay, we'll skip that again. Quick check in the map. So, that's our location that we need to go to. I had left a truck down there, the International. <laughs> Trucks randomly left abandoned. Um, so if we pop up to this warehouse here and down, it's got the two, hasn't it? Oh, I can't click on it again. There we go. Two small pipes. Okay, that's where we're going next. And to get to that, the easiest way... Oh, it's past the sawmill again. Okay, and then it's a right there. Okay. Let's go and get them at least. Evening is setting in, so... I'm conscious of the time scale. Slippy slidey. Not got highway tires anymore. The trailer's just knocked that sign that thing over it did. <laughs> Sideswipe. I know there's um there's things, animals that you can maybe spot on this map as well, like little easter eggy type things. I've never seen one yet. Any of you guys seen any creatures moving about? Or fishermen? Is that the other thing that's about in this map? Being a thing that disappears when you get up close to them. I think it's just me, I'm just so unlucky. I've not seen, really, I don't think any easter eggs. Which is appropriate, considering I'm recording this and it's coming up for Easter. Okay, cut left. Go on, Freeliner. Pull. Back here again already. It's funny how certain jobs have you in the same areas all the time. Come on. Pull, 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 pull up the hill. Come on. Show me what you're made of. Not far to go. Try and avoid as much of the mud as possible. Looks like it's getting dark kind of fast. Not far over the top of this hill, isn't it? That's what I recall. In a while. Whoa, that tree's at it again. Jumped out at me. We're going up and... Is it up and over this one? 
I feel like I'm just going to the watchtower. Where's my... Where's the... Aha. Okay, yep. Yeah. Back it up. Wrong way. Not going to the watchtower. That's a watch for fallen rocks. Yeah, good advice. A lovely evening run through the forest to finish up. Let's cut to this side, stay out the mud. And we are in. Awesome. Keep it nice and straight, ready for locking the dolly for backing it out. But cargo management. Small pipes, yes. One for you and one for me. Cool. Right, engine off. I hope you enjoyed this little episode of Traipsing About the Maps. We're getting there. The consumables was a tough part. This is just going around the map, picking up the small pipes. Now, I think it'll be quite nice for the next episode. So please do come back and join me for it. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Let me know. Let the algorithm know. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.